Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of me procrastinating and studying for my real estate exam. Hey, I have merch lol, it's pretty cute, you should check it out, thank you, and on to the schedule program. Not sure if you can see that, but it is midnight, which means it is time to randomly generate who the winner is for my 5-inch Bubbles with Bunny giveaway. So, I'm doing a random comment generator, so gotta set that up <laughs> really quick. Ooh, I tested this out a few days ago just to make sure that this thing really it does work and it does, so that's cool. I don't need to like do all this work, I just put in my YouTube video. Press randomize and it picks the comment for me. I think that's a win. There's 117 comments that are like not from duplicate users. So there's 117 people. So let's hope that the first person is a person that followed all the rules. I need a comment with favorite size and some form of communication. So let's do it. We have a winner, Vanessa Hansen. She loves 16 inch squishmallows and I will contact you on Instagram. I probably have contacted you before the video went out just to make sure, but congratulations. I'm so excited to send you bubbles and make sure that you guys stay tuned for another giveaway in the future. Don't know when yet, but I have exciting squish saved up for it. Anyways, on to the scheduled program. By the time that this video is up, I think I have taken my exam, but this is still me not studying, probably gonna fail. Anyways, there is a YouTuber, I cannot think of their name right now, so I'm gonna put it right here, who did this with their Squishmallow collection, so I'm getting this idea completely from them, and I'm bored and I just wanna switch things up. So, I have all of my eight inches just chilling on my bed right now because I want to do a little squish wall right here. It might look horrible, but it's okay. We're just gonna have fun, and yes. So first I gotta go through and I have to take the tags off of some of them because I've left the tags on some of them. So I'm gonna show you how I take them off. So I don't know really exactly how to explain this, but basically I just slipped it through the front of the little clasp thing and just slipped it through and it comes right off. I hope you can see what I'm doing because I don't know how to describe it. And there it is. So I have this pack of thumbtacks. There's like a billion in here. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put these against the wall. All right, so you know the part where like the tag is right here? I'm gonna slip the thumbtack through that little loop and literally just press it into the wall. And then it's hanging. It's that easy. <laughs> this is what we are working with. Mm, what a lovely angle. I'm just gonna go through. Tagless, 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 tagless. Oh my god, I'm already tired of this word. Aha, we got a tag. Okay, it looks like we are tag free on all of them and now it's time to just go i think i'm just gonna go in rainbow order so roy g biv and hope for the best hope that it looks good This would be so much easier if I was tall, <laughs> but this top row, I can't get them in because it's too high and I can't. Ah. I'm going to do this one last because it's not working. <laughs> I'm struggling so hard and so I'm just gonna try another row down and see if it goes in and if it doesn't I guess I'm not doing this. That went in smoothly, things are looking good. This looks stupid as Okay, I took like a good five hours to like just 
think about this and I think I'm gonna follow through with it because again it's literally my bedroom I can take it down whenever I want so I think I'm gonna follow through with it I kind of like it it makes my room feel cozier and I've never really had a cozy feeling room so let's go Okay, so I pretty much finished the wall and I think I do like it. I think that I could maybe add one more row at the bottom, but I really just, I don't know if I really have colors that I want to put at the bottom to do it, so I might just not do that. Um, and I have to fit three more at the top, but I'm way too short. I like physically cannot push the nails in at that height, so I'm gonna wait for my boyfriend to be able to do that because he's tall. And I will insert a picture of that final product, but here is what we have now. So I think that it is cute. I don't know why I gave up so abruptly earlier. I think it was because I was just frustrated with how hard it was to getting the thumbtacks in up high, but it was way easier uh, coming down. <laughs> I think my cats are going to enjoy this, but I also, that means I have to make sure that they're secure in the wall so that nothing bad happens if they do try to like climb up it. Who knows? But yeah, I actually, I like this because all the squishmallows in my room are just kind of like unorganized, but now I have an organized wall in my room and look at all the eight inches I still have left. If you weren't aware, I have an addiction <laughs> and it's really bad. But this will help me clear out space on the shelves in my whole entire Squishmallow organization area because now I have some in my bedroom with me that I get to chill with every day. Also, here's the picture of it being fully completed after my boyfriend helped me out, but for right now, this is all I can do. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, stick around, hang with me all the time, and press the bell notification icon button to be notified whenever I post a new video. That's fun. I post a bunch of different types of videos, but my most consistent type are Squishmallows for now. But uh, I post other videos too. I would appreciate it if you guys also supported those. And yeah, I love you. Bye.